Hey guys, it's Miss Minhe or Katie, whichever you want to call me, and welcome back to another video. Now, today I have, would you call it a speed build? That's what I've been thinking about this for a while now. Would you call this a speed build, even though you're not technically building anything, you're refurbishing an apartment? I don't know, I don't know, but we're going to call it a speed build anyway. Uh, today I am refurbishing the apartment that is originally owned by the Feng family, I believe. I don't have a name for it yet, so <laughs> you'll have to bear with me on that one, but obviously you'll know by now because it'll have a title so yeah um i'm super excited x well i'm super what katie excited is what i was trying to say i'm super excited uh to share this one with you because i'm actually really happy with how it turned out usually i'll do a build and i'll be like i'll show this to people anyway but you know not my best not i'm not too happy with it of course there are still little bits here and there that i would change but overall i'm actually really happy with how this turned out and i think i think <laughs> that this is because i use cc now usually I use very minimal build mode CC, uh, until a few months back I was so anti build mode CC, I was like only create sim, no for some reason I had this thing against it, I just didn't like it and then I downloaded a bit and then I used, uh, I used the odd piece here and there but today I went straight on in there and I used quite a lot of it and I really really like how it turns out, especially these chairs with the coffee makes everything better and I love the smaller details you get with, uh, with custom content in build mode like you get really smaller intricate items which I think is so helpful when you're doing a build such as like uh, the what was it was it urban outfitters bag I put on there so you can get like little carrier bags or you can have like the coffee that you see there or you can have cute little cups and even though they're really small items I just think they're really nice to to add to your build so today I use quite a neutral color palette I usually do tend to stick to the more neutral side with like a little pop of color but today I just just went straight nudes and like browns and like that kind of colors and for once I actually I actually liked it usually I didn't like to do more dull homes because I'm just like no we need a bit of color in everyone's lives okay uh, let's let's make it a bit more vibrant and I did try to include a pop of color there with the green and it just did not work <laughs> I don't know what else we can uh, but no I really liked how it turned out and I uh, I don't know if I already said this because I did have to to kind of stop the recording so if I just repeated myself ignore me ignore me um but I uh, I, ma I imagine should I say god I can never talk I swear this is a serious problem I have I swear I think everyone just assumes I'm a bit of a mess. I'm not entirely sure. But every single time I'll do a voiceover or like record a, a creator sim or like a let's play or whatever, I always, always stumble over my words. Like I will always get mixed up or I'll seem like I can't read or <laughs> something like that. Every single time without a doubt, <laughs> there we go again. Without a doubt, I will be like, oh, sorry, I meant this, I meant this, oh, what am I saying? Uh, and I don't know why, because I'm not really like that in real life. Like, if you were having a general conversation with me, like, I don't tend to get mixed up, but for some reason, in videos, I just, something clicks, and, like, I stumble over my words. I don't know whether it's because I'm so conscious about, kind of, what I'm saying, because if you're having a conversation in, say, real life, you're kind of just going with the flow, but with this... I'm by myself, like technically I'm not talking and uh, talking to anybody, there we go again, I'm not talking to anybody and like I'm trying to think about what to say next because I know I've got to sit here for like 20 minutes, you know, uh, so I'm trying to think about what to say next and like making sure I'm not saying anything wrong or saying things I shouldn't say, not that there really are things like I shouldn't say, you, well there are but you get what I mean anyway, so uh, excuse me for that if you're new, I do a lot so I uh I, I I do know what I'm doing I just I just don't sound like it so anyway what's I was saying yes I remember now uh, I was saying uh, that I imagine like an elderly couple living here perhaps they've lived there for quite a while in fact no I imagine them living there for perhaps about 10 years maybe uh, and their child has moved out and maybe they had a teenager because on the bottom floor would you call it the bottom what was it is it first floor second floor no, it's ground floor, first floor, second floor, right? But it's technically the basement because you enter on the first floor. I don't know. On the bottom floor, uh, as you can see right now, actually, I feel like this is a very teenagerish room for some reason. I do feel like it has a very 
teen vibe so maybe this elderly couple had a teenager who's now perhaps a young adult maybe gone to college or whatever like moved out uh, but they've decided to keep their bedroom the same because you know they don't want to let go and it's like sentimental so they've kept their room in case they come back and they don't want to change it and I just thought that was quite cute uh, and then we only have two other bedrooms I think do we yeah we only have two other bedrooms uh, in this build which is the master bedroom which I am in love with honestly like I want that bedroom <laughs> it's so like it's quite plain but I absolutely love how it turned out one second let me move my pop filter there we go uh, and then we have a guest bedroom which is again kind of like a neutral theme as well like the whole house uh, because the other rooms I didn't want to fill it with loads of bedrooms because what I tend to do is say I have a massive house I just think we'll just shove a load of bedrooms in there you know you can never have uh, too few bedrooms so instead today I tried to like broaden my I, uh, broaden my horizons, does that make sense? I don't know, but I'm going to go over it anyway. I decided to uh, ad have an adventure and try something new, and I think it turned out okay. So instead of having multiple bedrooms, I decided to build, like, a kind of library reading room area but I thought it's nice because it overlooks the city and it's quite traditional and although it looks a bit weird I thought if it was like a real house and I was designing a real house I think that would be a nice room to have um I also had in there a utility room with the washing machines in because I've never actually built a uh, built sorry a laundry room before so I got a chance to do that today uh, so we have a laundry room which is also on this floor I have quite a few bathrooms in this house uh, we have a gym what else do we have I think that's it we don't actually have that many rooms but I also included some pet stuff in there because I'm you know I thought it'd be nice perhaps to have a cat or a dog I don't know whatever you want in here uh, so yeah we're moving on to a bathroom now I did have to cut out a few of the bathrooms in here in this build like the footage of it that's what I mean not like cut them out literally but like uh, I had to cut the footage out for the garden patio and a few of the bathrooms, I believe, because this video, even though it's only an apartment build, it was so damn long, I was like, Katie, you can barely talk for 10 minutes without messing up, you can't go for about 30, and so I had to chop it down a little bit, I still think it's at like 20 minutes, I actually went into this build thinking, you know what, we'll do a nice, simple, modern-ish, well, ish, <laughs> apartment, and you know, it'll be quick, it'll be easy, but I didn't want to do a tiny one, because a lot of the apartments are really small, and I never get to really fit a lot in, so I thought, you know what, I'll choose this one, because it's got three stories, it's very nice and open has beautiful views won't take me too long because it's an apartment it took me hours over multiple days to do this i was like how much how many more rooms have i got in total it had one two three four five six seven eight i'm trying to think of it now nine ten eleven twelve rooms i think 12 and some of them were big rooms to be fair so it did take me quite a while even though it's just an apartment, but you know, it's all right now because we finished it. You know what I find really sad is that I've spent hours and hours building and I never use my own builds. I never, ever do. I don't really play the game for myself a lot, but I never use my own builds and I really should because <laughs> the amount of hours I've spent doing them, somebody needs to use them, okay? Somebody needs to. So I'll have to give that a go, actually. I'll, I'll have to start using more of my builds in, uh, in my life place i think um black widow we use our own build what's our other one? Oh, and we use our own build in 100 babies so we do but they're not like solid well they are builds i've done but i don't know i just feel like i don't use a lot of them so i'll have to start doing that oh and about let's plays um cats and dogs i uh, i'm just gonna put a little bit of this in there um i feel like and i know i do this a hell of a lot because like i'm an absolute failure of a youtuber uh, not that i see myself as a youtuber i don't know why but whenever someone's like oh you're a youtuber or something i just feel like i don't i don't qualify enough to be called that so i'm gonna call myself person who does youtube but isn't a youtuber because i don't i feel like it's such a formal term that i'm not good enough for you get me so uh, we're gonna go with just me <laughs> but um I always cancel series and I feel really bad about it because I shouldn't start stuff and then cancel it but at the end of the day I think to myself I can either keep doing this not enjoy it as much and just 
do it for the sake of it because I don't want to cancel more series or I can cancel it let me not in well let me not have to not enjoy it <laughs> if that makes sense uh, and free myself more time to do the stuff I actually do enjoy uh, and I just find that I open all these series and I know some people can cope with like having six series at once but for me I don't think I can kind of handle having that many on my channel I feel like I've now learnt and of course we all learn from our mistakes uh, that I think two series is the max I'm ever gonna have so unfortunately um I have stopped cats and dogs because I just wasn't enjoying it I feel like it takes a lot for me to want to carry on playing with a game like I get very bored of a save very easily so um um, I'm sorry about that if that was a series you enjoyed but I'm gonna put all my time into Black Widow and 100 Baby now uh, and that means we can get more episodes of them like I'd rather have more episodes of them even though we haven't got many episodes coming out that regularly yet yet <laughs> but uh, I'd rather have a few more episodes of them than trying to fit in this one let's play that I'm not really enjoying so yeah just thought I'll put that in there uh, and that way I can also do more like challenge videos say like creative sims or just little one-off builds like this I know I really need to get around to doing building for clients I know that's like the rarest series ever but um, I will get around to doing that I also wanted to and I thought I'd kind of kind of run this past you guys but you, you know um, I kind of wanted to do a Fortnite video like I've been thinking about it but I don't know whether to do one or not because half of me is like Katie you enjoy the game you play it for yourself I actually play it for myself more than I play the sims for myself which is absolutely <laughs> absolutely insane but um I've been playing it quite a lot recently but I obviously I don't want to be a like a Fortnite YouTuber I want to be a simmer you know <laughs> and that's not my forte that's not what I do but at the same time I just I thought if I enjoy it surely people won't mind if I made a video on it but at the same time like I know my audience might not want to watch me play Fortnite, but then maybe some other people might want to, so I'm just like conflicted and I don't know what to do. So I might do one anyway, might turn out like trash and I might scrap it, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Cause I didn't really plan, oh sorry about that, just, uh, just had to take a little breath though. I get so out of breath doing this cause I, I don't know whether I'm just on fit or whatever, but I get out of breath from doing this so easily. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, I don't really plan on introducing too many fresh games onto this channel. I like to just keep it simple. You know, you all expect The Sims from me. You all get The Sims from me. Because I find personally... I don't tend to watch channels that do like multiple just random games nothing against them because some of them have so like amazing channels and I absolutely love them but for me I like to watch channels that perhaps do one game and if that creator wants to branch out that's completely fine it's their channel they can do what you want but like that's just my personal preference you know what I mean maybe because like I don't enjoy like a wide scope of games like I'm not a gamer as in I play like loads of different kinds of games. I tend to just stick to a certain few. Um, but yeah, what was I? What was my original point? Because <laughs> I'm rambling now. What was my? Oh yeah, I remember now. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Anyway, so I don't really uh, plan on doing too many more games on this channel because I don't really enjoy many more games. I know Minecraft has been requested a lot, but I don't Minecraft. It's one of them things I've never really gotten into. Like, I played it a little bit, but I've not loved it as much as I've, like, loved The Sims. Like, for me, to want to play a game so regularly and to upload it so regularly, I have to really love it, you know? Like, I've been playing The Sims for years and years, and even though I, I can get bored of it very easily at times, at the end of the day, I know I can get back to it, and I love it, and I can still record every day, and I know what I'm doing, and I find it very hard to do that with a lot of games, so... Yeah, I don't know what to do. This all stemmed from this whole Fortnite thing, didn't it? Uh, but yeah, there's my little, uh, my little, not rant, my little suggestion, I guess, about Fortnite. I don't, I if I did do it, I won't plan on doing too many videos on it anyway. I won't like swap it out for daily Fortnite montages or whatever. <laughs> like I'm not about that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, anyway, I did something. Okay. Are you listening? I've actually got something exciting planned. 
I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, I know you're all a bit shocked there, but I'm actually doing something very exciting. Uh, I'm actually going for a flying lesson. I know. Can you believe it? I will finally have something to talk about in this speed build. So next speed build, I'll have that to talk about unless I like die in a plane crash, <laughs> which, you know, wouldn't be good. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll be fine. Maybe. I don't know. But you know what, at least we'll have a story time out of it. I died in a plane crash, gone wrong, not clickbait. <laughs> no, I know, I'm joking, I'm joking. But I have that to look forward to. And also, on the weekend, I've got a little, little story time video here, but I have like four minutes to say it. Uh, I actually went, did some kick exciting again. I know, drum roll, please. <laughs> I went to Alton Towers, but right, I was there all day. And guess how many rides I went on? Two two and do you know why because they all kept breaking down i went on sunday and they all just broke down there's this new ride at alton towers called the wicker man and it, it kept breaking down and i queued for it they sent about three carts around and then they were like we're experiencing technical difficulties and i was like great <laughs> great none of the rides were open when we were there then they were all delayed and i was just like i was not happy but you know what? It's okay, because I got on two rides. <laughs> got on two. Uh, I actually... I I like the rides there. And I think there are some... I think there are some really good ones that I just wish you could get on them. Uh, let me know if you like rides in the comments. There we go. I need to do more of that. I, uh, I see all these other YouTubers and they're like, tell me this in the comments. Tell me that in the comments. Because I love like being able to respond to your comments. But I never ask you all to comment anything. So I guess let me know if you like big rides. Um, I actually only got into them about a year ago. Because I'd never been on like a big ride. Uh, and I just went with my dad and he was like... Katie, look, if you're going to go on one, we're going to go on Nemesis, which is at, stri uh, which is at Elton Tower, sorry, uh, straight away, we're just going to go on it, there's no one else queuing for it, because we got there, like, when it opened, uh, and we just went on it, and I was like, that was really cool, I remember, I was just, like, raising my eyes, I was like, <laughs> I'm going to regret this, but you know what, I tried it, and I loved it, and now I go on all of the big rides, so, you know, there's a first time for everything, so maybe if you haven't been on big rides, give it a go you might like it you know i always thought when i was really little that i didn't like water and guess what i do not water as in drinking it as in like swimming it because you know water is kind of you need it to survive anyway <laughs> there's my little uh story time brought old and dars for you uh so i feel like i'm getting wackier and wackier throughout this whole voiceover and i apologize for that Anyway, I mean, we're at 17 minutes. What do you expect at this point? Uh, so we're doing the last bathroom now. I think you missed the ensuite bathroom. This just next door to that. So unfortunately, you didn't get to see that. But it's okay because you get to see this bathroom. And I also struggled with the ensuite. It took me about like 20 minutes just to do that one tiny little bathroom. So here I am onto the hallway of doom. Oh my God, I hated this so, so much. I was just like, what do I put in a hallway? Hallways, I never know what to put in there, especially big ones, because I'm just, they're so big, like, I don't want them to be empty, but what do I put there? So, I've come up with a new master plan, you hear me? Anytime you have an empty space, stick a sofa or a bookshelf there, and hey, presto, you're all good. You see in the, the master bedroom over there with the ensuite? Had a spare corner, shoved the sofa in there, and I think it looked all right. <laughs> I think it looked all right, so... Here, you see on the right there, we have bookshelves, and I replaced this desk, and I put a sofa there, and it, I think it was fine, <laughs> I think it was fine, you can always create a reading area when you have spare space, even though literally every room has a sofa and a bookshelf for a reading area, <laughs> we can always create another one, okay, you can never have too many reading areas, so we should be onto the screenshots in a minute, actually, hopefully, there are a lot of screenshots, so please bear with that, is someone coming up the stairs, yes, it is, it's not just footing oh I, I was home alone earlier right uh, and i heard this footing like like a like that and i was like what the hell is that and i thought someone was breaking into the house i was like is someone breaking in because it sounded like someone was slamming at the door right and my dogs weren't barking so i was like no one's there but it sounded like someone was slamming on the door it turned out there was a blackbird throwing moss off of my roof onto like kind of my lower roof area so there's this blackbird just throwing moss and it was creating this massive foot sound uh, and for for a few minutes it terrified me anyway <laughs> another story time for you there uh, here 
are our screenshots uh our screenshots the build screenshots i guess uh, uh so thank you all for watching uh, and by the way when i say i'm doing exciting stuff i'm not trying to brag i'm just trying to say like i never do anything exciting so for once i have something to talk about in this speed build so i hope that doesn't come across braggy i that's totally not my intention so thank you all for watching i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful day i hope you all enjoyed this speed build too because i sure did uh, i hope you all <laughs> could bear 20 minutes of me talking and yeah uh, how many screenshots are left? I can't entirely uh, entirely see here. So, um, I don't think I've got many left now. It's all good, it's all good. I always start my outro too late, damn it. Uh, so, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys. And, 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 bye guys. <laughs>